Changing the aspect ratio of a video should be a very simple task, but unfortunately, it's not often the case. Most video editors don't make it easy to resize video. And as social media content creators, when we create a video, we often have to repurpose that same video to multiple different social media platforms with multiple different aspect ratios. So I'm gonna show you the best, the fastest, and most efficient way to start resizing your videos for social media platforms using vid.io. The link is in the description, and when you click on that link, you'll be taken to the same page as me right here. So as we can see, we're now in vid's online video editor. And if I click on upload a file, import my 16 by 9 aspect ratio video we have my video right here and so to resize it it's dead simple all we have to do is click on the settings tab in the top left and here we have the size drop down menu which is essentially the aspect ratio and if i click on it as you can see we've got a bunch of different aspect ratios to choose from and as you can see if i want to change it to a tiktok 9 by 16 aspect ratio all I do is click on TikTok. And as you can see, I've now got the 9 by 16 vertical video canvas for TikTok. And you might be saying, yes, okay, great, but I've got the black bars on the top and the bottom. How do I stretch it out? Well, that's very easy. Now I just have to click on the video and drag it out just like so, and I've resized my video. It's that easy. Then all I'd have to do is click on export. But before you do that, there's actually a lot more that you can do. And I use Vid a lot to repurpose a lot of social media video content. And I'm just gonna quickly show you a couple of things you can do. So let's say we wanted to make this a square video for Twitter. If I go back to the size drop down menu and I just scroll up until I find the square one by one aspect ratio, now I've got a square video. And this is actually very interesting because now I've got some space at the top and the bottom. And I'm just gonna quickly add in a title. And let's just say I'm gonna write out tips for Twitter because this is what this video is all about it's about Twitter and so I'm just gonna place this right here drag it out just like so and then there's a little bit of a margin here so I'm just gonna drag this up just a little bit so it doesn't fit as much and now I want the colors to fit my brand so what I'm actually gonna do is go back to settings and here I can actually change the background color and I'm just gonna choose this one right here when I added the text we can actually see in the timeline if I move the playhead around we can see the duration of the text and if we want it to last for the entire thing I just need to make sure that I drag it out for the entire video if i want to add more video i can click on this button in the bottom right but then here we've got some blank space on the video canvas at the bottom what could i add here subtitles and you might be thinking yeah sure but subtitles take me a long time to write out manually i don't have the time for that don't worry i don't have the time for that either and this is why we have the auto subtitle tool under the subtitles tab so if i click on this select the video and the language that i want to have the subtitles in and just click create subtitles Vid is then going to take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your video and the speed of your internet, to automatically transcribe your video into text and turn that text into timestamped subtitles. So as you can see, it's just finished rendering right now. And before we do anything else, what I'm going to do is actually style them first. If I click on them, and then we have the stars tab up here, well, I just want to choose from a preset style at the bottom. So I like this one with the drop shadow, and then I might actually make them a little bit bigger, make this a little bit thinner so it goes over a couple of lines, so it's easy to read. And there we go. And now if I place this back to the actual beginning, I can zoom out on the timeline here just so I can see it easier and press play. Not many people create video content with Twitter as the destination and platform in mind, but with that being said, and as you can see, now I've created this social media post and I can do a lot more. I can add transitions. I can actually split and cut the content in here. I can add easy elements like progress bars, sound visualizers. But if I click on export, I then have the drop down menu here, which I can actually go ahead and choose some different render settings for so if i'm posting this to twitter i can just choose the twitter render settings make sure i've got the captions burnt in toggled on and click on export and vid then goes ahead and renders your video and this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes and as you can see it's just finished rendering and once it has all i have to do is click on download in the bottom to download it as an mp4 video but the magic here is with vid is so let's say this is the video for twitter right and now i want to post it to tiktok because i'm repurposing the social media content well i'm going to go back to my home page so as you can see now I'm in my workspace and we can actually just see the video that we just edited. What I'm gonna do is actually just rename this and we're just going to add Twitter in front, right? So it's got the same name. Uh, I'm not very good at naming my projects. But what I'm gonna do now is click on the three dots again and duplicate this, okay? And just duplicate it to the same place. So duplicate. As you can see, it's now duplicated and now I'm gonna open it up and what I have is basically a duplicate of the video file. And before we do anything else, I want to make sure I just rename this and I'm going to call it TikTok, right? And here's the magic. If I go in the settings tab in the size, we're going to move this from square and we're going to go to the 9 by 16 aspect ratio for TikTok so we can make the video fit on TikTok. And if I click this, as you can see now, all of the elements are automatically been adjusted and I can just move things around a little bit, just adjust things a little bit if I want to and then just drag this down again. And actually, I like having TikTok content full screen, maybe with maybe with the top headline, 
but we can actually play around with a few different things. And at the bottom on TikTok, there's actually the description of the video and the username overlaps. So we just wanna make sure we have this high enough so I can keep it up here. So now, as we can see, it plays through, it's high enough. The description will be about here. And then tips, I might bring this down a little bit because on the For You page, there's often the little icon at the top and I might just make this a little bit smaller, just like this. And then now, for the next six months, I've repurposed my video for TikTok. And now all I have to do is click on export, choose the best settings for my video, and then just click on export again. And that is how to change the aspect ratio of videos and repurpose videos for social media in minutes. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.